Welcome back to Do On A Dime and to Dollar Tree. You're not gonna believe this organizing hack. So you can go to the picture frame section and grab one of these incense holders. Then you're gonna come to the glass section. I love beautiful organization. It should be functional and beautiful. This kind of beautiful, almost vintage looking, opaque glass. Look at that. This is gonna be pretty. You could put this in a bathroom. We've got so much organization coming up. We're gonna love your home again. Plus, if you're feeling frustrated. So this is awful. <laughs> Please help. I've got you. Today's video is brought to you by my positive declutter challenge. Maybe you've always wanted me to come over to your house and help you get organized, declutter, get rid of things so you can love your home again. Grab that early bird sale. It ends July 25th. This is accountability, friends, a private Facebook group, a video for me every single day so I can know your name, help you out. I've always wanted to bring you something like this and make it so affordable that anybody can do it. Start making this positive changes in your home. The link is down below. I am just so sick of making decisions sometimes it's so nice to have somebody guide you along the way and just make you feel inspired. Let me know in the comments which of these jars you like best. Combine them with different bases to feel more organized and beautiful in your bathroom. And check out this new product. They had these holographic bins. I absolutely was obsessed and was thinking of all the creative ways to use these. I recently reorganized my tea cabinet and loved how this turned out. And think outside the box. That's why I love shopping at the dollar store. I put three of these together to make gorgeous vases you would have no idea I bought it from Dollar Tree. Maybe you're planning a wedding or a bridal shower. This is so stunning. And speaking of stunning, I also saw these placemats. What I love to do is use Dollar Tree placemats inside of my refrigerator. Organization for the win. Back to school is some of my favorite time to come shopping because you can find things like this. A dry erase weekly planner. Look how cool. There's one, two, three different ones. I found these to be really great for $1.25. There's a monthly spread and a weekly spread. And I also wanted to point out this six cube storage rack to you. When it comes to organization, there are two products I don't want you to miss. And the first are these woven bins. These look really nice out. They're not plastic, which is great. And these storage cubes. This is a great price. They're grommet style. They're awesome for shoes. If you were on a really tight budget, you could completely redo a closet and get custom drawers for about 20 bucks. I was so impressed. Everything you see here, including the wall art, those are placemats, all came from Dollar Tree. I can highly recommend this $5 product if you're looking to get organized. And do not sleep on these motion activated lights. I got so many comments of people saying they saw these exact same lights at Walmart for like 10 or $15. Literally, they're $5 at Dollar Tree and are awesome. They are rechargeable too, so you don't waste batteries. It's always my goal that at least one small product that you see in a video or one idea, you get inspired and you think, man, I could do that too and I don't have to spend a lot. In my last video, I showed you how you could use Dollar Tree wallpaper to line drawers of your dresser. You remember this new dresser? Well, I had some extra and I had to share this hack. I decided to get a ceiling medallion and replace our ceiling fan. Now, before you say, well, don't you need that at night? We actually never turn this on. It's just a dust collector. So I added some wallpaper to the inside of the medallion. And then I thrifted a light fixture for under 20 I found this just sitting at the Habitat Restore, installed it, and I absolutely love it. This feels so regal and was done on a budget. It's those little touches, friends. I also grabbed this flower sack towel from Dollar Tree for $1.25 and some of the Crafter Square hot glue. And I decided to make over some of my lampshades. Y'all, lampshades are expensive, especially pleated lampshades. It's so easy to do this yourself. Just adding a little bit of hot glue, glue one side down, and then pleat one edge over, glue it down, and then repeat the process all the way around the lampshade. You can do this with big ones or with small ones. And I like to use binder clips as I'm I'm working just to help hold it in place. I was able to do this in about 15 minutes. It didn't take long at all, and I really like the texture of this fabric. Sometimes it can be really hard if we don't have a lot to spend. We feel like we're excluded from things, right? Like, I can't afford that, I won't be able to do that, or I shouldn't bother because, I don't know, I'm not that creative or crafty. But the truth is, when you start trying it out, you'll find you really can find things that feel custom for your house that you made yourself. 
I'm definitely of the mindset, get it cheap, get it secondhand, and clear the excess so you can love your space. But we're gonna get to that in a minute. The first thing I wanna show you, I actually didn't know if I was gonna put this in this video, but I had this Dollar Tree pool noodle sitting around and some extra florals, woohoo! I was about to declutter them, but then I thought to myself, you know what, I could actually use these. It's funny, when we start to go through our house and reassess what we have, we see what we actually need, what we can make beautiful, and what we can let go of at the same time. I had a few extras that I donated to my local thrift store and the rest I used on my mantle. Later on, I ended up moving it to a bookshelf, but it was awesome. When we use the things that we have and get creative, it can make such a difference. Also, check out this idea. I grabbed these solar stake lights. I actually got these last year but I decided to take a wall sconce and add these to it with command hooks. You can also use the Dollar Tree command hooks. Y'all, we know that sometimes those can ruin the paint, so they're gonna stick really good on that, okay? It's a beautiful light fixture, and look how it looks pretty at night. What do you think? And speaking of making your house beautiful. All right, so this space that I'm clearing out is not at my house. It's at my production assistant, Leslie's house. I went over there and she told me exactly why this space was driving her crazy. This is a beautiful Leslie. Hi, everybody. I'm sure that you have seen my wiggly toes and my fingers in various videos. Probably heard my snarky comments as well when Catherine is filming. <laughs> This is one of the biggest points of frustration for me. I have been really salty about this thing for a decade. I can't get high enough. I have thrown baskets in here before, but then I can't get them back out again. And then I don't even know what I have and it's ridiculous. So this is great functional storage. There's that sarcasm again. I like the hooks. That part's cool. If you sit on it, as my children do, it creaks and it put a split here. So this is awful. <laughs> Please help. We've got our declutter moment and we're gonna make it beautiful from Dollar Tree. Just wait. Always come to this center, what looks like it should be a turntable. It's just a display, but they change us out all the time. I am obsessed with these little containers. This would fit a pair of sunglasses perfectly. I love this kind of woven rattan look. It just adds so much texture. This is really affordable. Look at these really pretty apples. I like Do this a lot. Your the, yeah, I just wanna tell you, this is like some straight pottery barn crate and barrel like for real this is stunning like i'm sorry mm. shut the front door i am obsessed with all of the new dollar tree art all right they have really stepped it up okay they have tons of these that look like little tiles and what i really like is there's lots of different options i'm gonna grab some of these to add to our space but what is more the canvas art here is bonkers bananas awesome okay this is a really great way to change out your decor on a budget. I love this one. I love this one. Look at this pretty bird, but I want to hear below. What's your style? Holy cow, so many things to decorate this space. We are doing it all on a budget. They have these amazing hanging frames. Now you may remember recently, I put some pressed flowers in here, but I love this look. This is gorgeous, especially in an entryway. And they have these really cool picture frames. This is not a new product, but I really like it. But what I think I'm gonna do is take some of these picture frames and then I'm gonna take some of the sticky wall decals. All right, they have so many new ones right now. Not only do they have a world map, they have flowers, but they also have a DIY frame. You could put this around some of the wallpaper to make a really cool installation in your home. Like I definitely would be helpful, Bob. Like I, it's, it's just true. Whatever the nerdy one is, that's the one I've, I've chosen. You'd be right there. I love finding little things at Dollar Tree. You can find a little pocket or a spot of your home to make beautiful DIY it on a dime. This is pretty, and I'm trying to decide between these two plants. This is so affordable. These are $5 each, and I really like this canister. I like this kind of elegant pressed flower look in it. I'm gonna grab this one. This Leslie just had sitting around. It's vintage, and we're gonna use it to hang up some of these really cool pictures. Like, this is gonna be beautiful. And this is a photo from her mother-in-law. She just had it sitting around. So this was completely free. We put it up here to help like anchor the space and make this feel like a room she wants to come in. More decorations won't make your home beautiful, less clutter will. But here's the thing, when you think about a space as solving your life's problems, we can better and more easily make decisions about what to keep and what to let go of. Leslie needed drop zones, and more specifically, places where she knew things had to go, like mail. She's a very visual person, and if she can't see it, she's not gonna remember it. So I just took this little roll of paper that she had and had never hung up, put it on the wall. I added this little rug from Dollar Tree. I can highly recommend these. And I installed this little shelf, we put some beautiful items just to help make the space feel homey. At the top, I decided to display some things that were super meaningful to her. Those are canisters. Those are the first things her and her husband bought together and some extra out of season
pieces and holiday decor. But the biggest change were these large bins at the bottom. She has a bin for work, a bin for kids, and a bin for returns and life stuff. So that way things don't end up in random piles and she can easily move this to the back of the car. This is a system that can work for her. Welcome home. I love it. This is so me. Hamlet, are you ready to go on a road trip? She's ready. I'm getting all my crushes. And if you want to feel excited about your home again, consider this a personal invitation from me for my 30-day declutter challenge. It's a 30-day challenge with a personalized video from me every single day. I get to actually know you, know your name, say hello, get to see pictures of your spaces. You get to interact with our community and declutter your home because the truth of the matter is I share lots of organizing videos on YouTube, but you can't really organize things until your home is decluttered. And I know for me, it's not that I can't declutter. I literally just want to wake up and have somebody else tell me what to do and then pat me on the back and cheer me on and just help me out. Help me feel great about those decisions. This challenge comes with a community Facebook group. You get a PDF from me as well as a 30 day whole house organization free download. Everything is right there for you. So you get to love your home again. And act quickly, if you sign up by July 25th, you're going to get it for less than 20 bucks. I wanted to make this accessible to everyone. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a big thumbs up. And if nobody has told you today, guess what? You are enough. I'll catch you soon.